All right, y'all, this is for the people who think that I, me, am on uh, Lee's payroll. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell, y'all, Lee? So... For, I went to New York. For those that don't know, because I got a lot of, I got a lot of people, not even new. I got a lot of people that have been subscribed to me since five years ago. But I went to New York five years ago to do a collaboration with Queen Naja, Clarence NYC, Maude Degar, and an interview for Lee. All right. Now, when doing so, uh, you know, it was fun. Went up there, did some work, came back. That was it, right? Now, I've seen Clarence a couple times, spoke to him, what going on, my boy? Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? You look good, all right? Seen Lee a few times, don't speak. She don't speak to me, I don't speak to her. If y'all don't remember, uh, Tina said what Tina had to say with the Lee situation, girl, we don't talk, all right? I could never be on Lee's payroll. All uh, right. Never was and never will be. Now, for whatever reason, Lee ain't fucking with me. Cool. <laughs> Next. I want y'all to know I ain't on a payroll. All uh, right. Ain't no beef. We ain't got no problems. Grown people separate. I did business for them. Sometimes people leave business at business. Understand we ain't had no words. Business is business with grown people. All right. Appreciate what you did. That's it. Ain't no problems though. You get what I'm saying? It's respect. Appreciate what you did. Appreciate you. Appreciate doing business. Have a good fucking day. All right. That's what we did. All right. Y'all ain't seen me at no cookout. Y'all ain't seen me at no graduation. Y'all ain't seen me at no dinner. Y'all, y'all have not seen me with Clarence and Queen Orly. So to think that I'm on a payroll. Makes me want to throw up a lot. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, the way y'all think, you know? The reason why I'm even speaking about this is because, A, like Chris said, we got bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bills to pay. That's number one. Number two, no matter if we speak, don't speak, Lee ain't speaking, we may not be speaking, me and Clarence speak. When we see each other, he cool. I seen Queen too. We spoke... I will never side with some shit that I don't agree with. But I'm going to put myself in this situation like I keep trying to tell y'all. If somebody came to me and said, fuck that. If TT baby daddy came to me and said, you know, your girl was cheating, right? With who? With shawty. Okay. Let me ask TT, baby, did you cheat on me? Hell no. With who? Shawty. Who the fuck is she? All right. Let me go ask Shawty. Shawty, did you cheat? Did you smash my shot? No, nah, I didn't. Well, why the fuck you on Instagram doing what you're doing on Instagram? Then I got to take that up with Shawty. You get what I'm saying? But if I don't have no proof, ain't no video out there, uh, ain't no text messages, ain't no DMs, I will never uproot my own crib for that shit all right i would never listen to my baby daddy who already cheated on me hello <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? why would i listen to the nigga who cheated on me who's excited to find out that i might have been cheated on i mean he is happy that queen might have been cheated on that nigga is ecstatic about it. Y'all think I'm going to believe that nigga? The fact that his home was taken from him? You think I'm going to let him take my home? Y'all got me fucked up. Would never. That nigga blatantly dis disrespect her. Disrespected her. Now he's throwing it all in her face that she ain't worth shit. That's why she keep getting cheated on. He don't give a damn about that woman. I would never side with that nigga. 
And for that little bit of proof, or that ain't even proof, for a girl insinuating that it was her with no proof, yeah, I would never tear down my whole entire household for that. I don't give a damn who it is. If TT had that situation, wouldn't do it. <laughs> if I was in that situation, I know she wouldn't do that with me either. But y'all would, right? Hell no, you wouldn't. Y'all are full of shit. Y'all love to see people go through shit. You love to see people break up and love to see people fall apart. Not me. You get what I'm saying? Chris bring a lot of shit on Chris, but I still wish the best for Chris. And I'm sorry if this happened to Chris and it wasn't no proof, I would say the same shit. I can't go off this. What is this? This ain't enough. If it was, if it was Chris. Some of y'all motherfuckers' minds is like the size of a goddamn little bit of sugar. You know what I'm saying? A little sugar uh, piece. Like it's worse than that. You know what I'm saying? Like a little grain of salt. That motherfucker's so small. <laughs> if y'all would uproot your own home for that, that's on y'all. I wouldn't. So I always put myself in these people's shoes if I would do some shit. I'm sorry. That ain't enough. I mean, sis came out and was like, first of all, sis could be in cahoots with Chris. Y'all say them was old DMs. That don't mean they ain't in cahoots, nigga. <laughs> Chris is so excited to break them up. Yeah, I would think he was the one who was a part of it. Sorry. I would. And I don't have to be friends with Clarence, friends with Lee, friends with Queen, or be on the payroll to just tell y'all the truth of how the fuck I would handle my own situation. This ain't enough. They just moved into a house. Uh, they got a whole child together. He just said he was going to propose to her. Yeah. For that, I wouldn't break up. Shit, for that. But I would be on his ass. I would be in his phone. All that. But Chris would be a non-motherfucking factor. And y'all giving Chris too much credit for this shit. I just want to put that out there. You giving that nigga way too much credit. But anyway, let me look at these uh comments. I had to go ahead and get that out the way. All right, so somebody said, Chris, I know y'all effed. I know y'all effed, but I didn't say your name. The girl, I appreciate that, but I still want to know who told you. Now, the girl said that she was appreciating the fact that he didn't put her name out there. He said, she said that. <laughs> Apparently, y'all didn't hear that part. Uh, Royalty, please don't act slow just because you love Queen and Clarence. I love my parents. I love my, my, uh, my girlfriend, and I love my children. I don't love Queen and Clarence. I like their dynamic, but you might love Chris the way you trying to project that love on me. It ain't there. <laughs> okay. I just want to put that out there. Um, yet this woman DM him about the situation after ignoring his message for so long and not giving him the time of day. Why DM him now asking how he knows about the yacht situation? Open y'all eyes. Clarence clearly did something. All right. So somebody said, exactly. This is why people think Lee pays her to never go against them. She's extremely biased and acts completely oblivious when they wrong. Um, somebody said, ain't nobody acting slow. Clarence would, wouldn't be so effing sloppy. I absolutely agree with that. And the top of that, Chris says she told him, so how to F, right? And you know that because you know him, right? Please. Um, do y'all. Y'all wasn't there. Neither was I. Hello. But I ain't believing shit that ain't got real proof. Hello. Because first of all, nigga, neither one of us was there. We, I, be, I always say that. Neither one of us was there. <laughs> Niggas don't know what the fuck happened. And if I was on somebody's payroll, don't you think I would fucking know? If we was friends, don't you think I would know? Oh, niggas is crazy. I wouldn't even speak on it if that was the case. I said, me and Lee haven't spoken years and Queen and Claire ain't my friends. I wouldn't uproot my household on this shit. This ain't enough. Like I said, y'all don't like them and want them to break up. I don't give a fuck. I'm just reporting what's going on. I wouldn't cut my bitch off for this. If Clarence didn't get caught messaging that woman, he didn't do it. Period. I ain't seen a text message, a DM or nothing. And if that were to happen, I would speak on that shit. It ain't happened. Sorry. I know y'all want it to happen. You just want somebody to break up and be miserable like you. Well, they not. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, and that's your choice, LOL. Gonna trust my discernment and believe in your discernment. 
and believes something did happen. That's why she slid in Chris DM first asking who told him. Okay. Never said I didn't like them or wanted them to break up. Now you're projecting. I'm projecting. Okay. And I said, that's why people think Lee pays you. What people aside from you never said that was the case, but you are biased when it comes to them. Clearly something happened, but you keep saying Clarence wouldn't be that sloppy. Clarence is human. All love though. Listen, this is all love for me too. Cause y'all get real, y'all get real sensitive when a person gets to speaking back, but I have to speak back. Cause I have to, I love to clear up the, I don't get paid by Lee Lloyd. I, I wish I could show y'all my bank statements, but I'm gonna just say this. If you see the videos that I react to, Clarence and Queen ain't been in that roster in a long time, okay? I ain't even in they, uh, what you call it no more, their algorithm anymore. So, understand this, I'm a grown, I'm a grown ass woman, all right? And when I feel a certain way about something, I go with my own discernment. Now, the thing is, your discernment is telling you that Clarence did something cool. My discernment isn't telling me that. My discernment is telling me he wouldn't be that sloppy to do that shit on no yacht. Now, I'm going to say this again. I wouldn't put it past him if it wasn't on the yacht. I wouldn't put it past no nigga. I don't give a... Y'all don't hear that part, though. Hey, Lee, if it was Clarence and it was before the yacht, I can't say he ain't do that shit. Like, I don't know what y'all think this is. Y'all like to hear what you want to hear, but let me repeat it again. If he did that shit before the yacht, it's way more believable than being on a yacht full of people who would have proof that he went in a room with another woman. Sorry, that's a Chris move, not Clarence. I can't do it. I need a picture. I need something. I need something. <laughs> I need something. Show me something, okay? And I'm going to tell y'all right now, if in fact something comes out and it says this or, or it's proof of this, I'm going to be the first to be like, damn, my discernment was wrong. You know what I'm saying? He did that shit. <laughs> he did that shit. But until then, he guilty. He's, he's uh, what is it? Innocent until proven guilty. The nigga, I, I, ain't, I ain't seen a DM. I ain't seen a dick pic. I ain't seen nothing. Y'all think I'm about to go off some random ass bitch and, and, and her baby daddy who hate him and her? Never. So listen, y'all go with y'all discernment. I'm going to go with mine. Now understand that I'm heightened because I'm passionate about what I'm saying. I'm, I'm uh, only the only payroll I'm on is Google. Google pay me every 21st of the month. All right. Matter of fact, they was late this month because the 21st fell on a Sunday. I ain't get paid till the 22nd. Google is the only people that pay me. All right. If I feel some type of way about something and I feel as though it's wrong, right? Da, da, da. I'm going to say that shit. I have said that shit. Y'all hear what you want to hear. Okay. But listen, we going to find out because the shit will come to the light if it's true. And if it ain't, nigga, it ain't. Next, this wasn't the time for them to break up. I know y'all upset. All right. Some of y'all are really upset. And that person who's saying that they wasn't, you ain't then, nigga. <laughs> you ain't. But it just sound like it to say that I'm, to go so far as to say I'm on somebody's payroll just because I don't agree with Chris, that's projecting. You get what I'm saying? You're projecting. But we done with this video. Y'all figure that shit out. Because as far as I'm concerned, once again, if I was queen, would not, I would not uproot my whole household for that, for that nothing. Like, who told you? Uh, what, what you mean? Who told you? I mean, what you talking about? I know y'all fucked. The, honestly, that timeline don't even make sense. And then for her to come back and say, I ain't denying, I'm not, what'd she say? Uh... She's not clarifying or denying or admitting or denying or whatever. Whatever her motive was, I wish she would come out and say it. I wish she would come out and say, yeah, I fucked the nigga, to be honest, because her story ain't making no sense. None. I would love for her to come out and say, yes, I did it. And I would love for her to have some fucking proof. And if she ain't got none, then she need to shut the fuck up just like him. <laughs> Get the hell on. <laughs> Nicki Minaj and Carisha is fighting right now. We're on to the next subject. <laughs> okay. 
So I'm done with this video, man. Y'all let me know what you think. I would apologize for my passion, but I can't. That's just how I was feeling. Um, Google pay me. And hell yeah, that's it. Girl, bye. Get out my face.